Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday Morning Real Estate Marketing Show with Ruthie Rocks, Ruth Albrand, and I am Marketing Max. Today is episode 114, and yeah. we're actually uh, have a, spe a special guest, a repeat guest again this time, this Saturday, uh, Mrs. Joan Burge, and she's known as the pioneer of the administrative training industry. Uh, Joan is an accomplished author, professional speaker, and consultant in the corporate training world. She's been a champion for executive management assistance uh, for the past 30 years now. And she started a company called Office Dynamics in 1990 to help, it looks like, uh, people in the management support roles reach their highest potential. So she, we're waiting for her to join today, but she's going to come on and talk about the power of positivity. But before we do any of that and get her on, Ruth, what is happening in Las Vegas? <laughs> Well, there's lots going on. I have to tell you, we, we've got some uh, great things happening. And um, the, the stats are outstanding. Um, February was a record month for February. We had 2,471 transactions close. And that's up 25% from last year. Wow. So that is huge. And we're on pace selling 102 homes a day. And last year at this time, we were selling 82 homes a day. So this is poising out to be a record year for us. Absolutely. Um, we've sold about uh, 6,000, um, let's see, we've sold 6,752 homes so far this year. And uh, that makes the 102 per day. The average price, now I'm saying average, not medium, the average price is 333000 So there's another milestone that we've hit. Last year, our average was 317000 mm -hmm. This year, our median is 317000 and it hasn't been $317,000 for seven years. I mean, for 13 years since for 13, wow. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, we're just breaking records this year. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. And um, the top ten, uh, the top ten uh, in the transactions out of fourteen thousand agents have sold um, uh, eight hundred and forty-eight homes. So out of those, I mean, that's uh, out of the six thousand seven hundred and fifty-two, mm -hmm. the top ten have sold uh, eight hundred and forty-eight homes. Now. The bad news about that is 74% of them or 626 of them have been transactions by the iBuyer platforms. Right, right. Um, but most of, you know, most of those are listings. So the sell side is somewhere else, you know, in our uh, transactions. Right. But we don't care because we are, uh, the agents are stepping up to the plate. Uh, it's interesting that this year more agents are doing more deals per month than last year. Uh, um, so that's the good news. So we're not letting the iBuyer platform slow us down. Right, absolutely. And, yeah, and hopefully the agents know now that they can use the um, the information uh, on the listings to get their listings because they can put more money in the uh, seller's pocket. So that that's really good news. And mm. then Friday, as I'm sure you know, we hit a record low on interest rate. We went to 3.29%. I mean, right. that's like, I mean, that's like almost free. It's just it's, amazing. It's, un, it's um, unheard of and it could go lower is what. Yeah. And, the, and the investors and, and people say, well, why? Well, the investors and, and Max, you will know this because you're in the financial world. The investors are actually moving their money out of the stock market and into the U.S. treasuries, which is causing the rates to go down. And that's right. this has never been this low since, since guess when? 1971. 1971. Wow. Right. What? So, I mean, oh. this is really wild. And um, amid all the things that are going on, and my friend Joan Birch just popped <laughs> in, I'm going to move over. <laughs> right. All right. All right. Welcome, Joan. And, and it's a yeah. great segue because there's a lot of positive things going on in the world today amid all the negativity. So, Joan, Absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, Joan. You. Welcome. No, certainly. Uh, the, 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 yeah. <laughs> The real estate market is definitely going to heat up here with interest rates now. I mean, buyers who couldn't qualify before, you know, they're writing, sitting on the cusp of the debt to income ratio 
you know, one or two percentage points. Now with their lower rates, I mean, it pushes them over the edge here. So uh, probably last half of this year is going to be a nice little boom. As long as we get inventories up, that's that's the only challenge we have here in Vegas right now is like, you know, one month inventory right now. But the people are buying new homes too. So, you know, that, uh, that, that really uh, helps. And they've, they've ramped up because, um, you know, they, they ramped up last year, actually, when you looked at the building permits that they pulled. So it, I think it's going to be great. I think we're going to have enough homes. Yeah, okay, and hopefully perfect. it doesn't drive the prices up too high. <laughs> yeah, well, it, that'll probably certainly be the case. But um, probably at a, a, an afford affordability is, I guess, uh, <laughs> yeah. depending on how you look at it. But uh, a much more steady pace than what we saw in the past where investors were just gobbling up and, and people were you know buying with no money down. So. It'll be interesting yeah. to see uh, this year. But any other words before we introduce Joan again? Um, no, I'm just anxious to hear about uh, being positive amidst all this negativity. <laughs> all right, all right. On. This is a very <laughs> timely topic <laughs> at this point, Joan. Yeah. Oh, here's the camera. Um, here's the camera. Oh, yeah. All right. So just uh, just to remind everybody who just you know tuned in right just right now, you know Joan Burge is known as the pioneer of the administrative training industry. She's been kind of the champion for uh, the management support roles over the last thirty years, and companies go to her. Uh, to get training for their management support teams. And uh, she's an accomplished author. You wrote a book the last time you were on. You were just re launching your book, I believe, right, Joan? Yes, I guess I, so. We're trying I think to get what it must have been those secrets. secrets. Yeah. 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 So uh, glad to have you back. She's a, also a professional <laughs> speaker and consultant and corporate trainer. So, I mean, yeah. she's worked the stages and we're it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for being a, uh, accommodative and walking down the street or okay, running down the street or driving. Uh, I, mean, I thought, how typical is this? of what's going on right now. This is so indicative that things are changing like second by second, right? Right. And um, it, it's just been like the last two weeks have been very, very interesting. But the last week, especially as more news broke, you know, about mm -hmm. the coronavirus here. And I'm I'm very involved with the, the corporate world and universities and organizations mm -hmm. all over the country. Um, and it's caused, obviously, quite a stir. Um, and so I've been doing a lot of my own digging in, fact finding. I'm hearing what's going on on the street because I'm working with these corporations sure. and hearing what executives are saying, leaders are saying. Um, so you know, what just, are you hearing? It's oh, curious. You know, I first want to say I'm hearing a lot of fear is the, mm -hmm, the sure. overall a lot of fear and panic, which I, I always hate when that happens. Um, and I the media to me just instills a lot of that um, mm -hmm. with us. But yeah, this is a very, very timely, timely topic for all of us. And I, I believe things we really have to pay attention to. And number one is don't panic and freak right, out. That's right. like the worst thing we could do. Um, what I'm what I'm hearing, um, of course, for corporations, they're cutting travel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, of that any makes, type. Sure. Uh, they don't want their employees, you know, traveling out of the country for sure. But now, unfortunately, it's even affecting the United States. And a lot of the, we do training, you know, for organizations. We go on site as well as offer public workshops. Like next week, I'm doing a three day sure. course here in Las Vegas. We just had two ladies cancel because yeah. their company said, no, you can't travel. And, and I'm like, come on, you know, people that right. you could walk out your door and go to the store and get the flu. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, that's where I can't wrap my head around it because, um, and I'm not making light of things. I sure, just, sure. Um, I mean, I think you have to put everything in the really big picture and perspective of life in general. And absolutely. when you look at the facts, I've been reading a lot of facts this week. I belong to the Meeting Planners International, which, we're big convention bit business in Vegas, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely, absolutely. And I really liked what they're pushing out because they're the opposite. They're saying, keep going, keep your meetings, keep your conferences, because if we don't, we are going to impact our economy here. Mm -hmm. And that will affect jobs, right? And then that affects people 
being able to purchase and do things. So their message to me, I love because you could see it's quite different than what the corporations and organizations are saying with their employees. We don't want you in meetings. We don't want you where there are settings of multiple people. They're even Careful. telling them like personally, don't take your vacations, you know. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> um, no, I mean, so, what, what's worse than the coronavirus is, is the the reaction to it is what's causing going to be causing the economic impact and, yeah. and the long term effects here. And that's what people don't start to realize. And I, I yeah, I want to continue because I want to hear your kind of and thoughts. We don't, you know, we have to be, like I said, that's where I think we have to be very smart as individuals and look at the facts, which the facts are, you know, we have 56, a thousand people a year die from the flu. From the flu. That's Correct. much bigger. That's huge. You know, yeah, we don't panic every fall. You know, we don't panic. Right. Oh, it's coming. I think because obviously this is new. We haven't heard of it. Sure. But, you know, it, it's uh, and I just did my own Facebook Friday live yesterday. I do uh, for assistants that are working in all these organizations. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I had a very good talk with them yesterday about change. We were talking about change and how do you deal with messy change? as I call it, you know, right? <laughs> Chaotic change. We're like chickens running around with our heads cut off. Um, so I, I have strategies that I went through with these people yesterday. Okay. And uh, which I'd love to share. You Absolutely. Know, we could talk about, and I know Ruth feels a lot like I do. We had an earlier conversation this week. Um, and uh, so I have so many, you know, thoughts on it and, I guess, you know, too, just I know historically, look at all the things we've come through in the past, right? The recession, the 9-11. I mean, we will pass, this will pass, you know, but in the meantime, you got to keep your head on straight because the decisions we make on a daily basis can affect our economy. So if, if companies are making decisions that are affecting their employees and then their employees can't go out and purchase and do things, just even mm -hmm. regular everyday stuff, now that impacts that. So I all, you know, to me, you've got to look at the domino effect. And again, I, I read another great article yesterday from the Meeting Planners Association, which has 60,000 members around the world. And they were saying, before you cancel, look at all these facts, look through these things, and don't, again, just make these erratic decisions. Sure. You know? So some of the, the tips I feel that are very important right now is um, don't panic is number one. Don't panic. Right. <laughs> uh, Stay two, calm. Stay calm. Yeah, look at the facts. <laughs> now, again, you know, you have to look at the sources of the facts. Yes. Because there's tons of information out there, tons of information on social media. I mean, the news. So you've got to look at who's the source of the, the facts that are being told, or so-called facts, yeah. right? Yeah. Hey, facts. And yeah, it has to be a credible source, not just whatever. Um, I feel it's very, very important to, to be very focused, you know, as you're uh, going through your day and things are rapidly changing to to be focused on what you're doing in the moment right now the decisions you're having to make mm -hmm. you know think them through to me it's it's to take action i know the last two weeks because of how we've been affected i've had to take action very quickly and make decisions on the dime very quickly absolutely, absolutely. but the idea is not to be reactive so i'm 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 acting. You know what I'm trying to yeah, say? We really? have to be proactive and you have to keep doing positive things and taking your own steps forward, not letting this push you back. Right. Yeah. There, there, yeah. They, we yeah. About that. Uh, always to make adjustments. Forward. Yeah, for sure. And one of the things you may want to do is, uh, you know, like Ruth has a live. One of the thoughts I had right now is like for for these people who have events like you, yours, it's a great time to have cameras and do live still run your workshop yeah, and then right. exactly you know what i'm saying you know and, mm -hmm. so that and if people don't want to travel that, you know yeah. to, um do more of fortunately i can do yeah. uh like we're doing right now you know yeah. which i do anyways on a monthly basis i have webinars 
So right. now I'm just going to do more of that, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, and that's where you have to be creative, right? right? right. Have a backup plan. Right. Um, there is something I, I love too. I have this little um, quote by my desk at, at the office, and I know you'll love this because this is you <laughs> in a good way. I mean, you and me both. I bet I know and what it is. It. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. It's give up, uh, give in, or give it all you got. <laughs> Did I get it right? Yes. I yeah. actually put that on my Facebook page Did yesterday. You? Yeah. Did you? Okay. So we're so in line with our thinking. And you know, that's how I feel like you can just give in to all this chaos and, not, and, right. and go hide in your house. You know, there's people who are not going out of my house. I'm not going anywhere. Or like Ruth and I, we give it all we've got. And you right. know, that's how I feel. You do everything you can. And especially for your real estate agent, too. Oh, my gosh. I mean, right. John, John actually has a client in Hawaii. And uh, his wife will not get on a plane and come to Vegas right now until the virus scare is over. And so in the meantime, John continues to send them properties and continues to communicate and keep the spark alive. Because... Just like we found out with 9-11, you know, and it devastated uh, Las Vegas uh, for several months. Mm -hmm. But then there's pent, the pent up demand. The pent for... up, um, it pens. What, what am I trying to say? Yeah, it the builds up. Buyers, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it builds up. And then, you know, it, when it comes back, it's like a lion. It roars right back. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it. I don't know. I, I believe that you just can't let it get you down. And right. like Kathy's saying, the media is causing a lot of this. And they are not acting responsible. I mean, when you hear the, the, the actual news and how many people actually died with, um, was it the swine flu or, oh, right. or um, in uh, 2013? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, SARS. Yeah, all those. I mean, thousands and thousands of people died and we didn't do anything about it. And so we're at least uh, countries are trying to, you know, um, to stop it from happening uh, mm -hmm. to thousands of people. So, yeah. You know, I, it goes both ways a yeah. little bit here. And I, I would agree with you, like, thinking about um, the realtors, the agents, and so forth. You know, yeah. like, my husband, Dave, was, you know, very yes. active there. And, um, and you know, being out that you're around a lot of people, yeah. you know, I think it's, you still have, you've got to go out there. You've got to yes. still be very proactive. Yeah and uh, keep your marketing yes. going. I think even yeah. more so we have to keep our marketing and, up, right? And like my friend Pinky, Pinky knows Naples, who lives in Naples, Florida. She had a client who couldn't come down for a walkthrough on a condo they were buying and she videoed it. Yeah, There's exactly. a live video and she said, okay, here's, you know, the dishwasher's running and do you approve this? And so there, I mean, in today's age with this technology, you know, uh, we can just, we can still continue mm -hmm. to be proactive despite exactly. the negativity that's going on. Yeah. 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 The best and thing I, you can do right now is just to shut off the news. I mean, <laughs> it's true. I mean, it's uh, true. Uh, because no, one, one of my tips I, yeah. I always say is insulate yourself. Right. Um, I, I was telling Ruth last news. week, you know, I was telling Ruth last week, this is the age of misinformation. Not, you know, this is the age really of misinformation. There's a great book called um, Trust Me, I'm Lying. Everybody oh. needs <laughs> everybody needs to read that book about, you know, the news. It's called Trust Me, I'm Lying, uh, Ryan Holiday. So he works for a PR firm and he basically breaks down how news is disseminated from, you know, from the small sources regionally uh, to from the blogs to the small sources regionally, then to the big corporate national and, and world networks. It's not the media and the information that we get now is not factual based anymore. You know, mm -hmm. it's 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 whatever captures the most attention because, you know, mm -hmm. the the monetary system and the capitalistic system that we live in today requires that these news outlets survive uh, and the only way they survive is to sell advertising. And so they're not necessarily here to give you good advice to live a good life or, you know, make good decisions. They're here to make sure you stay in your home and watch TV and stay you know tuned in so that they can put more advertising in front of you. So, I mean, that's, that's my one thing is like, just stop watching the news. And until, yeah. you know, until, until women and children and men of all ages start dropping like flies, um, you shouldn't be worried. And if that happens, then what are you going to do anyways? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's a delicate subject because we're not trying to say that, 
you know, we don't care that people are getting sick and uh, uh, sure. passing on. But but to that point, you know, this virus is people will get it. They don't know it and it passes. Exactly right. It's really not mm -hmm. as um, goes as deep as people might think. You know, if you get it, you can get over it. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, it does pass. Yes. It's like a flu. You yes. know, they just don't have uh, the right antibiotic to or vaccination to stop everybody from getting it. But the good news is if you do get it, it doesn't necessarily right. kill you. You just get sick for a little while, like the normal flu. Right. So here's the bad I mean, news. Here, here's some of that, too. You know, here's the bad news the, and the good news about viruses. Yeah. There's yeah. no cure for it. I mean, so, other than the body, <laughs> the so body like, cures itself. Which is so, you know, the stocks I, I was reading about the casino stocks uh, in town, mm -hmm. they went down nine to 13 percent. But so when that happens, Max, since you're like in that uh, financial world, um, how fast can those come back? Can it be like next week, <laughs> next month? I mean, assuming that uh, this passes. Yeah, that's that's a good question. A disclosure is that, you know, this this show is for entertainment purposes here. And I, I usually don't give any advice, but he. <laughs> I, I take it is when something is overreaction is not fundamentally based. Usually the recovery is pretty swift, right? If we take a look at, um, you know, if we remove all the headlines, the market stocks tend to usually go back to the current momentum that it's currently on right now. And right now, if we take a look at our economy still running strong, right? Unemployment just got released in February for February last yesterday or, you know, 273,000 yeah. jobs created in February. Three and a half percent interest or three and a half percent unemployment rate. It actually dipped down. And so, yes. will there be some temporary disruption? Absolutely. But this too shall pass. Every disease that we've ever had, every outbreak that we ever had in our history over the last 50 years, usually right around three to six months, you know, things get back to normal and things are mo even more positive than they were exactly. when the outbreak ha first, first happened. So, we got to yeah, take a look I at that. Yeah. Right. And, and, and really just shut off the news because, and, and if, if there was two sites that you would go to, I would just go to the world health organization and the CDC mm -hmm. to get updates Tune everybody else. Because if you actually read the CDC, I mean, they give you precautions, right? But they always like, they're, they're bad at this too. But the very last paragraph, they usually say, this is, there's very low chances of you, of any like fatality or mortality uh, yeah. in, in this virus. Right. You just have to wash your hands. You're going to get flu like symptoms. If you're already yeah. sick or have a pre existing condition, you need to take more precaution. Right. Like you would normally during the season anyway, during any type of. Yes. Right. of oh. anything. So it's not anything different. And so um, but, you know, things will come back like they always will, because yeah. people are working. Now. working. And, and guess what? Costco mm -hmm. just had a fantastic February because everybody's <laughs> yeah. going in there and clearing out all the shelves. I mean, so. You know, there's some <laughs> industries in our country that are going to benefit greatly, even in the short term here, you know, yeah. and, and because we're a country that's focused more on services and not manufacturing, and we don't depend on other countries to, to buy our products and services to, to survive and, and, and to run the majority of our economy, you know, we're going to be definitely okay. And yeah. uh, all that, all that money we're saving at right now from not going out and taking travel that yeah. I we'll know human right behavior, there. exactly <laughs> right. At one point or another, it, people aren't saving that money. You know? <laughs> They're going to be ready. I was saying that the, I was thinking it's just like September 11th, which I, you know, I have to fly to make my living. I go out of state a lot and travel. That's from, to go to my clients, but many of us are, didn't want to get on an airplane, right? right? And I think, you know, after so many months of being cooped up, then everybody was like, I've got to get out of town. I've got to go on a vacation. I've got to, you know, it was right. the that you talked about. Yes. You can only take so much. And then as humans, we've got to, like, get back to life. Yeah. So, Warren, Warren, um, Warren Buffett says it best. He said, when people are fearful, be greedy. And when people <laughs> are greedy, be fearful. Right. Oh. And uh, if we take a look at back of the financial crisis and during the real estate bu bubble in 2008, I mean, for some people that was devastating for a lot of people that was devastating. But for a very few of a minute group, that was the greatest opportunity in over 100 years to triple, quadruple, thousand percent type of gains on on capital. Right. Deploying into wow. real estate, into the stock market. I mean, I look at I remember uh, Las Vegas sand stock. I was in the I just started in the business and people were 
rushing in the doors like should i buy this at you know a dollar 50 and i'm like i don't know you know but you know when adelson put a billion dollars into his own company you know if you would have bought las vegas stand at two dollars in 2009 wow. i mean oh, wow you were wow. Uh, the stock's trading at like 60 bucks right now. So just FYI, yeah, it didn't get as high as $80. Yeah. So 50 well, times your money. Interest rates, you know, I mean, being right. down, this is a result of what's going on too. So, you know, it's a great time to reach out to, you know, your buyers that are thinking of buying and get them mm. off the fence because this is a, a phenomena. This is going to change. It's not going to stay at 3.29%. I can tell you right now, if you're a buyer, especially in the markets like Seattle and, and in in San Francisco or San Francisco and where all these like coronavirus outbreaks are supposedly like you know rampant, I would tell yeah. your buyers, man, there's probably less competition for your offer, right? right. Now, in some of these exactly. hot markets, right? And you yes. could actually pick up, you know, some deals because you know either the seller needs to get out of the house for one other reason or another, and because no one's looking and no one's going out there, I mean, you you could potentially pick up. I mean, this this is a great time. Real estate, like you said, Joan, early, this is a time to actually double down your efforts on your marketing yeah. right and your effort right. because everybody else is retreating and when everybody yeah, else is retreating you push forward and the people who push forward during these times are going to come out like three four five steps ahead of everybody else when the market retires. right yeah well and i was at a great summit last friday a week ago friday i belong to this group it's called vistage it's for ceos and business owners it's a um, global organization and right here in Las Vegas, we have different little groups, but they did a, a full day Vistage Summit. And we had our first speaker was an economist. And he was fabulous. Um, I'm sorry, I don't remember who he was with. Brilliant um, our presentation because he delivered the facts, but it was all, but it was optimistic. So um, and it was just some of the messages he gave and he was showing us historically and that's all they do is look at his history right and project the future he was saying that you know historically we've been through these things again whether it's mm -hmm. this or 9 11 or whatever it is and we always come out and you're you know here are the facts again but some of the things i loved he definitely said now's the time to buy buy now if you're going to buy a house buy it now he said an excellent time to buy um nevada our growth he showed us a map with all the states yes. us in florida were the highest growth rate with between mm -hmm. people moving here and yes. births we were 14 percent, which was on the high side yeah. um which so we look really good there right. mm -hmm. you know we're there, there was in our population yeah, organically yes. yeah <laughs> so it and uh so a lot of the news that he delivered um like i said it was it was factual but i loved that he had the optimism he their organization they were projecting yeah that they really feel good about the third yeah. and fourth quarter and 2021 yeah. being really strong so it was a good um uplifting yes. you know yes. information yes and when and when people buy houses that uh, home depot does well you know all these homes that uh, sell sheets and beds and furniture they do well so if people can embrace the moment and just kick the fear out, out the door and, and go buy a home or, you know, I know stocks are low right now. If you're into that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's a great time for day traders, probably. <laughs> <laughs> really good time. for Yeah. When volatility is up, day traders tend to make the most money because there's <laughs> ups and downs for sure. So people will be making money, you know, sellers will be selling their homes. Buyers will be buying homes and buying things to put in the homes and the sellers that sell their homes will be buying more homes. Yeah. So that's our right. economic wheel that goes around and round. Right. And that's and, what and that, and you have to see, right? I yeah. mean, everybody has to right. look at, I call it the domino effect, yeah. right? One thing in it, we, we can, again, I think be a part of that positive, yes. moving it mm -hmm. positively forward. Don't be caught up in the negativity and then we're just, sucking the energy out of of what yes you know yeah. you know what's what's crazy as as i i think about this more the thought came into my mind is this is a crisis of actually um personal self-esteem and self-confidence really mm -hmm. because if you believe this is the end of the world here that means that you don't believe that the human spirit is gonna recover from this 
right? Yeah. And that's a reflection of probably, mm -hmm. you know, of each one of us who this is how we react and respond to times like this is is a metaphor and actually an example of how we react and respond to times in our life where we're faced with challenge. Yeah. And and really what I see here is like, you know, our reality is what we think our reality is going to be. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what's happening because perspective is all that matters. Yes. And, and, and this is a time to really evaluate that, right? How How mm -hmm. is this, how are you, how you're responding to this moment in, in time with the situation with this illness and the sickness based on the media, right? Is it really going to be productive for you in the long term, right? And how is this reflected in your other areas of life? And I think about the people who are really panicking. I mean, those are the ones that really don't believe that they can do anything, right? Or they can't recover from this or people, they don't either trust people or don't believe that pe the human spirit is strong enough to get past this. And I know history has shown us that we've been able to overcome everything over time, right? dinosaurs you know mammoths <laughs> the old ages i mean we, we're the only ones left here and we're not going yes. extinct you know while every other species has you know, has faced that so it's it's well, interesting, I, it's an interesting I, time. I, uh, some great advice and 20 years ago um from a psychologist who actually used to work with a lot with the executives of a company my husband worked for then and at first i was like you know, he, to me, it was weird thinking, but his whole focus was on the worrying mind mm -hmm. and a busy mind and how if we don't gain control of that, we will we will spiral downward, you know, very yes. quickly even. And the one thing I remember him saying that I try to apply in my personal life a lot is he says, you worrying about this right now is not going to change the outcome. Exactly right. The fact that you worry, it's not whatever it is going to be, it's going to be. But by you worrying this moment, yeah. you're cheating yourself out of your yeah. time right now with this person or with your family or cheating yourselves from, you know, maybe learning or studying or yeah. enjoying your work. And that to me made that really stuck with yeah, me, I like right? that. Yeah. yeah. Because we we're not gonna control the end. No. We we're not, but no. we can control our this moment. Yes. And ourselves. Yeah. And that's it. And a perspective. What's great, I'm I'm actually traveling on a cruise next month. Uh, oh. to Mexico. I'm going to Disney uh, on a Disney cruise. Take the family. So my mom has already told me like five times to cancel the cruise. Uh, <laughs> but I told her I go and I and my wife and I are in agreement. It's like this. This may be one of the best times to travel because if you don't uh -huh. like crowds, <laughs> you know, uh, the airports are very empty right now, and it's one of the best times to really enjoy travel. Because and that's what I'm saying, like, be greedy when people are fearful right now, because I'm, I'm thinking usually the Disney cruise is booked. We looked like a month ago and every activity was already booked. Right. And we're like, oh, great. Now, you know, now we just got to do the standard stuff. But now th it could change for us. I'm like, we can the cruise and things could just open up and, you know, and and this is going to be great. You know, so it it's definitely a matter of perspective. Yeah. And what you do now is is more important than what's happening around you because it doesn't matter really i mean if we you you, you know this joan right i mean it's not what you do it's not what happens that matters is what you do with what happens that affects yeah. and yes. how you deal sure. with it it's how you deal with it yeah. Exactly right. yeah. so. and you have to and you have to think fast you have to play it forward a little bit and you know if if you're in our business or um well, in real estate or even in your business, especially, Joan, where you can get on the like we're doing today, you know, mm -hmm. we're 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 getting people's attention. And if people are staying at home more, well, there's an opportunity to get right. in front of them more. So, <laughs> this is a reason to buy your to to build your social media presence here because exactly. people are going to probably be consuming a lot more of it. Yeah. Right. I told the real estate agents, you know, if things get slow, work on your database, work on your your marketing strategies. Take the time to be productive, and like Joan said earlier, be proactive. Go out there and let's let's make things happen. Let's get let's get everything set up for when when all this goes away because it will. Right. You know, um, I'm going to start a little um, show called 73 Seconds for uh, of Wisdom uh, for every day and or every year in my life. Soon to be 104, of course, but for now <laughs> 73 seconds, and try to give a tip of the day you know, uh, based on an experience I had in my life. Absolutely. And um, well, I, and, and my point today is I have seen the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the flus, the, 
you know, the financial crisis, the wars, and we always come out ahead, but only because we forge ahead. If we retreat, we will not forge ahead. And we've always done that, though. So I'm very positive that this will all have a positive outcome. Uh, it, it will. Except for the people that lose people. And I'm not taking that lightly, but sure. I'm just looking at the overall, you know, effects of the results. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're def no one's making light the fact that this is, you know, you know, devastating some families and people die. Well, all we're saying is that, you know, we shouldn't overreact and, and change our lifestyle because of it, because it's not even warranted. I mean, there's there's more people that die each day of heart attacks, of, you know, of uh, diabetes, of car accidents. I mean, I'd be interested to see some statistics on just people, you know, car accidents that happen every year just in the U.S., not even worldwide, that, that right. take people's lives. I mean, these are... These are much more dangerous. You're the likelihood of you dying right now, going in your car and driving down the street is much higher than than and then dying than getting this coronavirus, unless you already have a pre-existing condition, right? I mean, that's so. If you're wash your hands and and do what you normally do during the flu season to protect yourself, but there's no need to one to spread this, right? And that's why I almost want to stop talking about it a little bit, just because like it's like. The other perspective with that, um, you just made me think of, um, gosh, now I lost my thought. Oh, I know. So it's it's critically important we keep a positive attitude because our attitudes affect our health. Yeah. And, you know, when I first heard about this like two weeks ago, knowing it's going to affect my business and stuff, I was feeling a little down, you know, that weekend. And then I'm like, all right you know, just move on, lady. And because me getting down isn't going to help anything. And so the right. problem is if we start to absorb any negative news, this is even before the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. I've talked about this for years. If we're taking in all the negativity, what happens to us? We lose our energy. We, we're not mm -hmm. creative. We can't solve focus. problems. Can't we focus. can't focus. That can affect your health. That can affect then your immune system. Absolutely. So if you're worried about getting sick, like the worst thing you could do is get down right now. Exactly <laughs> right. Gotta, yeah. And you've got to, it's something you've got to wake up. I mean, Ruth and I live this every single day and, and we both have personally and professionally had real crises in our lives. <laughs> we truly believe in what we're saying and we want Absolutely. to do that in others. You have to recognize this is, we can control this. So when we're out of, and life is out of control, we can always control how we want to think. And yes, yeah. Exactly right. And, know. you know, and worry uh, starts to excite our flight and fear and flight mechanism, which releases yes. cortisol in our bodies and our brains. And actually that cortisol, you know, the immune system actually needs to clear that away once, you know, uh, we, yes. and, and, and if you are in a constant state of worry and concern, I mean, you're literally making yourself sick. Like yeah. the, the coronavirus is not going to kill you, but you worrying yourself to death is actually yeah. a bigger concern that you should have. And so go live your life yeah. <laughs> the way you normally live it, yeah. right? Be concerned, be careful, protect yourself, wash your hands. And, you know, I mean, don't go to China right now. I mean, no. obviously make that, that, that <laughs> distinction, but. Um, the high risk countries, which is right. only don't, really a few because we, again, there were just some good articles about that, right. but. Um, right. But you could come here to Las Vegas. Yeah. Right? Check it out. <laughs> Come here to Las Vegas. Fun. We're starting to warm up here. Today's going to be 72 degrees I today. Oh, I, I went out today and did my, I did a 5K and I didn't wear a jacket. And uh, even uh, the day before yesterday, I put a little sweater on, but mm -hmm. I really didn't need it. I love this time of the year. And I guess the clocks go forward oh, yeah. tonight. That's yeah. right. It is daylight yeah. savings yeah. time, yeah. everybody. I, know, I, like I like to come home when it's dark. Yeah, do you? It's dark. <laughs> I, I like it bright. I'm I'm a sunshine. I like the bright. Yeah, I'm the one. Yeah, I'm, I'm a sunshine really person. Bright. I'm getting the MC for it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. But it's yeah, all so. good. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Whatever, it's all whatever good. energizes you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, any last words, Joan, from you? Oh, let me think. I wanna. Um, I think some other, uh, oh, I like this one um, that I think is really important. 
personally and professionally. And that that's to talk, uh, to, to communicate, communicate, communicate. But I don't mean texting and emailing. I mean, have conversations with each other like at work because there's so much, too much is happening too quickly and changing too fast. We can't keep up with it. And it would be so easy to not communicate the way or effectively communicate in an email or text because we're hurrying. And at times like this, we really need the, what I call the human moments Mm -hmm. where we sit with each other, we talk, we plan, we strategize like, okay, this is happening. Good. Let's, let's now get out of that and let's talk about what we're going to do about it. Right. Right. And be positive and, uh, and get your groups together, your teams together, your families, you know, you should sit as a family and and talk about how people are feeling right now. I think that's important too. And I think like the three of us are, are tend to be influencers. And I think that we can influence other people to, um, to talk about the future and about the good things. Mm-hmm. I'm not, you know, if somebody tells me, oh my God, it's raining. I say, yes, and the flowers are going to grow, <laughs> you know? So yeah. it's just right. like I'm saying, the interest rates are low. Let's buy houses. Yeah, let's let's awesome. think positive. Let's build our database. Let's get ready for, you know, let's market. Let's increase our marketing. Let's. There's so many good things we can do and not dwell on anything negative. I, I mean, even without the virus, even without anything, You're right. people need to be positive right? because why not? And you know what I was going around there all week saying to everybody in the office, be happy. What's the result of being unhappy? There's no result. And right. there's so many results of being happy. You know, I saw a man without a smile. I gave him mine. You know, it's just like, be happy. What's not to be happy about? <laughs> Your chances of being alive are 400 trillion to one. Right. That your parents had sex at that moment and you're here to talk about it and live and breathe and and embrace life. So that's that's what I have to say. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. (laughs) Yeah, you're you will move towards whatever your mind focuses on. And so if you're just concerned all the time and worry all the time, guess what? You're going to get more of it. And yeah. so we, uh, the mind plays a lot of tricks on us because it's always trying to self, <laughs> self-validate itself, right? Otherwise, you know, I mean, some people call it the ego, some people call it different things, but we're always looking to make sure we become right. And so I'd rather be right about something that's going to turn out to be good and, you know, <laughs> abundant and prosperous yes. yeah. uh, than the opposite because... yes. Either one is true, and that's the power that we have as human beings. That's the, you know, that's that's the power that we all need to wake up to is the fact that whatever we look and focus on will become our truth. That's so, true. Yes. Regardless of what's happening around yes. around us. So yeah, and we had a great class this week. Our live streaming is really working great, Max. I had like eight hundred people watching mm-hmm. us this week. Yeah, lots wow. of viewers. Fantastic. Yeah, and uh, it's amazing. And we have the Lunch and Learn on Tuesday at 10.30. Um, Aaron Taylor's gonna share uh, with new agents. We're targeting new agents this mm-hmm. week to come in and learn the uh, his success roadmap so that they can have a successful career and get off to the right start. So that's Tuesday at 10.30 at 8400 West Sahara, the Be Social Savvy Training Center. And then our next social media class is going to be um, uh, it's a little different because we, uh, I'll tell you why it's going to be March the 30th, starting on Monday. And then it's going to be, um, Wednesday and Thursday, because starting April 3rd, we are going to do Brian Buffini's pathway to mastery. Oh, and that's okay. going to be for nine weeks. Uh, I just, everybody needs to go to agentformula.com, the training tab and sign up because it's going to fill up. And so that's going to make our social media training Monday, Wednesday, Thursday versus Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for um, March. I mean, for April and May. So just those little changes. Um, Monday, we have Jimmy Day coming to talk about new home sales versus resales. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's filling up fast, too. So uh, so grab your seat. Jimmy's always entertaining and educating, and we always pack the house, and we have free lunch. (laughs) (laughs) Fantastic. So so much going on, Max. I'll tell you, it's hard. Yeah. So go out there and spread positivity, everybody. Yes. Create your own truth. Don't let let anybody else. I named my dog be happy for a reason. (laughs) Exactly right. 
Exactly right. All right. Well, thank everybody. you, Max. We love you. Max is yep. our moderator, Marketing Max, and Joan, my dear friend. She's yes, a thank you, Joan, for being on the show today. And, trainer, and I'm your host, Ruthie Rocks, and uh, you'll be seeing more of us. Absolutely. Bye. Have a great week, everybody.